3. Kirchhoff's Laws. There are two laws. To solve a complex circuit, we need more than just Ohm's law, V equal to IR. There are two Kirchhoff's laws to help us. The first law is current law. The second law is voltage law. Kirchhoff's first law states that at any junction in a circuit, like that one there, the total current entering the junction equals the total current leaving. So in this diagram here we have two currents entering, this one and that one, and three leaving, one, two, three. So these two entering must be equal to the, the other three leaving. Kirchhoff's second law says around any closed path of a circuit the total of all the potential differences of voltages is zero. This law is a law of conservation of energy. As the charges go through a power source like a battery, they gain energy, they pick up energy, so the voltage is positive. As the charges go through a component like a lamp, they lose energy, so the voltage is negative. For a closed path, all the voltages, all the positive and negative voltages must add up to zero, expressing the equation form like this. Here is a simple example. For this circuit, we take an anti-clockwise walk around it with, with the direction of the current. The current is flowing this way, anti-clockwise, so we'll follow the current. In the loop, it's called A, B, C, D, A. A, B, C, D, back to A. And then the first one we go through is this voltage here, V1. So plus V1, it's gaining energy as the charge goes through the battery. And then the next one we go through is this one here. We will lose energy, so it's minus V2. And then through this one also, minus V3. And then back to here, so equal to zero. And clearly, 9 volts minus 6 volts, minus 3 volts, is equal to zero. This circuit is slightly more complex. This is only part of a big circuit. And also notice the flow of conventional current. From there to there, it's flowing that way. But then, from there to there, it's flowing this way. And so we're going to take a clockwise loop, starting from A, through the B, C, D, back to A. So that's what it says here. So let's start from here, going with the conventional current through the battery, gaining energy or gaining voltage, plus six. Going through this resistor, losing voltage, so it's minus. Voltage is current times resistance. But then, as we go through this one, we are going against the current, therefore the signs will be reversed. Instead of minus, now it's plus plus current times resistance, give you voltage. And then going through this one, this battery here, the signs will be minus because we're going against the current. So minus E equal to zero, back, back to there. And so for unknown E, E is one volt.